As 1993 was coming to a close, national events making history included Don Shula being named the coach with the most NFL wins, Rudy Giuliani elected as 107th mayor of New York City, and Evander Holyfield beating Riddick Bowe to win the heavyweight boxing title. In Florence, a leader with energy and enthusiasm was also emerging. Dr. Charles Gould was selected as Florence Darlington Technical College's president in November of 1993. He was filled with creative visions, innovative ideas, and forward thinking. The college had less than 3,000 students with a main campus and a satellite site. Throughout his tenure, Dr. Gould sought to improve access to education in the PD. He expanded the college's Hartsville site and created new sites in Lake City and Mullins. Today, these sites enroll almost 1,000 students and place educational opportunity in convenient locations. The technical college system in South Carolina is really our secret weapon in our arsenal of economic development, and Florence Darlington Tech is, is a jewel in that arsenal. In 1999, the Advanced Welding and Cutting Center opened. It was innovation in action, as no other facility of its kind existed in the Southeast. The center provides comprehensive welding training and numerous welders have graduated and received American Welding Society certification during the past 14 years. In 2000, FDTC's Allied Health programs relocated to downtown Florence as part of the newly renovated Health Sciences Campus, then known as the Bell South Building. More than 1,000 nursing, allied health, and general science students attend this campus on a daily basis. In 2001, the Caterpillar Dealer Services Academy made its home on the FDTC campus. The academy trains technicians with customer service and technical skills for North and South Carolina Caterpillar dealers. Dr. Gould was very instrumental uh, along with uh, others uh, here in the PD uh, for being very persuasive uh, to companies to locate uh, here in the PD. So consequently, uh, that enhanced our economic development uh, here in Florence. In 2007, Dr. Gould's passion for manufacturing made headlines. The Southeastern Institute of Manufacturing and Technology is the college's crown jewel. It was Dr. Gould's vision that the SIMT would provide the training and manufacturing services required to bring manufacturing jobs to the PD area. The SIMT now includes the Advanced Manufacturing Center and the Manufacturing and Business Incubator. The centerpiece of the Advanced Manufacturing Center is a manufacturing arena that houses CNC technology, an additive manufacturing center, and a metrology lab. A 3D virtual reality center is also available in the AMC to assist business and industry with training and marketing projects. A large conference center and state-of-the-art 800-seat auditorium are two more features of this 177,000 square foot facility. SIMT has been a game changer in our ability to, to train in the 21st century. I mean, we've trained some really high-level, high-skilled jobs. Uh, SIMT has also brought world-class institutions, corporations to our community, and I think you have to give credit to Dr. Gould and his vision for, for making that happen. The Manufacturing and Business Incubator reached completion in late 2012. The purpose of the incubator is to entice entrepreneurs and manufacturers from all over the world to locate to the PD and to give these fledgling enterprises the space and services to succeed in today's marketplace. The manufacturing services at the AMC make the incubator an even more attractive option to entrepreneurs. As we look to the future, innovation must continue. Technology will change. As a leader, Florence Darlington Technical College must stay many steps ahead of the competition. Educational and facility excellence is our standard. Because of Dr. Gould's um, vision, many jobs have been created in our region. So many of our companies, he's been very instrumental in bringing to us and uh, creating jobs for our people. And I just think that you cannot look hardly north, south, east, or west that you don't see some of his good work. He understood economic development. It was his passion, and he was so supportive of our efforts that any time he was in state, if I could get prospect, if it was between us and another community, in front of Dr. Gould, he would always seal the deal. He would send it. If you looked at the number of companies that have relocated, that have grown, that have set up a shop in Florence County or the surrounding areas, 
on a per capita basis, I think uh, that development partnership has to be the most productive in South Carolina and probably the most productive in the Southeast. You know, so big name companies choosing Florence, South Carolina, uh, it, the results speak for themselves. Become a part of the vision that has now become a reality and contribute to what promises to be an exciting future. Invest in Dr. Gould's legacy today by contributing to an educational excellence scholarship established in his honor or to a new initiative to create an automotive center across from the main campus. With your financial assistance, Dr. Gould's many accomplishments will be remembered for the economic, cultural, and educational development of the PD and South Carolina. Today, with an enrollment at an all-time high of more than 6,000 students and growing satellite campuses in Hartsville, Lake City, and Mullins, we must press forward. Join our efforts to imagine, invest, and inspire. I think Florence Garland Tech, to me, is one of the biggest selling points we have in economic development. And what do we have to do as a community to keep that going? We've got to do it. Celebrate Dr. Gould by making a financial donation to FDTC. Remember 1993. His visions were grand, and now they've been converted into a reality called his legacy. Consider the future of our region. After all, we did not become the fastest growing institution of higher education in South Carolina by sitting still.